Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're revisiting our recipe that we first did on the channel 2007-2008. Um, I recently got it in my head that I wanted to have this again and I thought, oh, it's probably a really good recipe to do on the channel. And, uh, and so I looked back and realized that we had already done it. But, that was so long ago. So much on YouTube has changed since then. Back in 2007, 2008, um, the highest quality that you could upload to YouTube was 240p, which is a very low quality video. And then they compressed it even farther. And if you go back and you look at the, those videos now, they just look horrible. When I look at the originals, they're pretty good. But the ones that are uploaded to YouTube just look horrible. So it's time to redo it. And it's a lemon square. So first we're going to make the cookie base. I've got flour already in the food processor. I'm going to add some sugar, salt, and butter. This is essentially a shortbread crust kind of thing. And we'll pulse that. So you, you pulse it a few times to get it started, just to get the butter distributed initially. And then you can turn it on and just leave it on. You want... You really want this the consistency of sand. I know a lot of people talk about when they do this sort of thing that you want it to look like uh, the butter the size of a pea with the flour around it. Really what you want is the flour around the, 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 you want the butter, sorry, you want the butter around the flour. You want the butter to coat the flour. That's what gives it the shortness, that, um, the shortening, the butter. Uh, shortens the gluten strands by coating the flour, not allowing long strands of gluten to form. The term shortening is one of those chicken or egg terms, which came first, our understanding of why it caused it to be short, or because of the way the, the resulting uh, baked good reacted, the way it crumbled. Anyway, so I'm going to get in here with my hands and mash this down. You can use a cup or the bottom of a glass or the bottom of a mug or something like that. I like to use my hand. I like to get in there and actually kind of feel what's going on. And if you want to see that original video, I will link to it below. It'll be down in the description box. Once this is all tamped down, the oven is preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and in it goes. Okay, the cookie base is pretty much done. So I'm gonna get that out of the oven. Um, you can put the filling in hot if you want. You can let it cool down a little bit if you want. Uh, usually I would make the filling in the 20 minutes that it takes for that to bake, but you know, life gets busy sometimes and nothing always happens the way you want it to. So we're gonna make the filling now. Now the filling is really easy. Um, Eggs, lemon, sugar, flour, baking powder. Really not that difficult. I will admit, I have in the past, um, perhaps even earlier this week, <laughs> made, this, made this recipe and forgot to put the sugar in. And the whole time I was making it, I thought, you know, this isn't right. Why is this not right? What am I doing wrong? It occurred to me later, I forgot the sugar. It tasted really good. Um, strangely enough, the texture was off a little bit. The texture wasn't quite right, but it tasted really good. I don't think I missed not having the sugar from a flavor standpoint. Last egg. Give that a bit of a whisk. And then in goes the flour. Did I say flour? I meant sugar. In goes the sugar. Okay, that's looking good. Now, uh, lemon juice and lemon zest. I'm gonna zest one of these lemons. Okay, I just whack that right in. I did it, I did it over the measuring cup because sometimes I can get it all in the measuring cup reasonably well. Now we need between a quarter and a third of a cup of juice. And normally I'm pretty, uh, pretty lax in my recipe 
and just say one lemon or two lemons worth of juice. I found for this one though, having sort of an exact amount um, is relatively important because not all lemons give the same amount of juice. And I've, I've had some that give a lot of juice and you know some that are just almost dry, depending on the season, depending on where they've had to travel from, depending on the variety of lemon, you don't always get the same varieties. So for this one, between a quarter and a third of a cup of juice. And today, oh my. So today, one and a half lemons got me just under half a cup of lemon juice. I'm gonna go with it. Um, it's kind of funny because a couple days ago, when I screwed the recipe up and forgot the sugar, it took me three lemons um, to get a third of a cup. You just never know. So. It'll be fine. There's there's lots of room here between the eggs and the flour. There's lots of room for thickening it. And the filling is gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna slowly mix in the flour, whisk it in a little bit at a time. You don't want it to clump. And last in is the baking powder and it will start to react immediately. And then we just pour the filling over the cookie base. You get a... The oven is still at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this will go back in for another 20 or 25 minutes. Hey, Glenn, I'm tripping over chicken tripping on the way chicken. in. Hi, friends. Hey, Chicky. Chicken's looking for some lemon bar. Oh, oh, I love lemon bar. Yes. Okay. So, uh, oh, that's got a nice crisp, nice edge to it. Mm hmm. Classic lemon bar. So good. So yeah. good. Now, I admitted that I made it a few days ago and forgot the sugar. Mm -hmm. Tasted really good, too. The texture was a little rubbery on the on the lemon part. But it could be done without sugar or reduced sugar. You could if you wanted to. Not reduce... without sugar, though. Yeah. That wasn't that wasn't good. It I tasted thought... okay, but... It had good flavor, but the texture was wrong. Mm -hmm. So you could reduce the sugar, but this is amazing, just the way it is. Now, this has a fairly even distribution of cookie to lemon. If you want more lemon... Mm -hmm. I'd cut the ha I'd cut the cookie amount in half, put it in a smaller tin, do the same lemon, lemon amount, put it on the top, and put it on top, and get a thicker lemon. <clears throat> How would we adjust the baking? Just a little longer? Not even? Apparently, Glenn says the same. Can you see? Can you right? Okay, we we understand, Glenn. <clears throat> Glenn says this is great. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Ha, ha, ha.